my experience has been that it sort of robs you of words and it feels so dark that you, if you haven't been in that type of place before, you, it's so difficult to explain. You are not alone. Alone would be if your heart no longer beat and your lungs no longer pulled and your breath no longer pushed. It's like the worse that I felt, the harder that I worked. I remember I toured for two years straight after the Senator Flowers and I came home and I was like, just could not move. And I was like, all right, what is wrong? I grew up with like every adult in my life worked in a factory or was a truck driver or a taxi driver. And when it comes to mental health and particularly things like depression and anxiety in my community, those are such taboo sort of topics. Like depression doesn't really exist. Like that's something that, you know, privileged people sort of think they have because who wants to hear about somebody like a me who has all the success and whining and crying and complaining, right? They're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like we've known, look at you. <laughs> and I was like, guys, like no one told me. So I told myself, you know what? Because I need to do this for me, I'll write about it. So I wrote and I wrote and I wrote to give words to that experience. And a lot of people say, oh my God, but your writing is so simple. And she writes like five words. I don't get why people like her. Da, 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 da. But like for about two years or maybe two and a half years, it's just free writing. And that's when I begin to sort of refine and edit and refine. It's like presenting a peach pit, presenting like the very, very core of something. How are you alone if an entire community lives in you? You have all of you on your side.